Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and everyone else. I'm your most gracious host, Gitbag the Great, here for another episode of this Skyrim playthrough. Last time we spoke to the Ogre of Dunlane underneath the College of Winterhold, and it told us to search for something called the Staff of Magnus, which could have us potentially unlock the Eye of Magnus that's being held in the College. So we're going to talk to Mirabel about that, because supposedly she can tell us something about how to find it. Please don't bother the Archmage unless it's absolutely necessary. Right, well, this is going to be pretty necessary, I should dare say. Well, now that's an odd question. Why in the world would you be asking? It may be connected to the Eye of Magnus. The Eye of Magnus? I can appreciate that this thing, this orb, it's very impressive. Very unique and definitely worth studying. Where the fuck did he come Let's from? Let's not jump to any conclusions. Or did he just it steal her bed? Okay. The Augur referred to it as the Eye of Magnus, not me. The Augur. Just what have you gotten yourself involved in? Whatever is going on, whatever you're up to, be very careful. So, s the Staff of Magnus, are you going to tell me about it? Well, it's said to be very powerful. Has the capacity to store an incredible amount of magical power, as the story goes. But it's more myth than anything at this point. I've no doubt that it actually exists, but no one has seen it in, what, decades? Longer? I'm not sure. The only time I've heard it mentioned was when those Synod characters showed up some months ago looking for it. Ah, so who are the Synod then? Mages based out of Cyrodiil. They fancy themselves the Imperial Authority on Magic these last few hundred years. My understanding is that all they really do is make noise in an attempt to curry favor from the Emperor. Lots of politics, little magic. I was quite surprised to find them on our doorstep. They seemed amiable enough, but their line of questioning made me... uneasy. It became clear they're trying to hoard powerful artifacts, looking to consolidate power. So, no one knows the staff's location, then? No one here does. The Synod seemed convinced it was somewhere in Skyrim. They inquired about the ruins of Mzulft, but that's all I remember. Mm. It sounded like they were heading there, though they were rather secretive about why. I suppose if you're intent on looking for the staff, there's a chance they might be in Mazulft yet. Just don't expect them to be cooperative. Well, I've got a few swords and bows and arrows that would make it not necessary for them to be cooperative, so I don't think that'll be too much of a problem. Okay, so next stop is the ruins of Mazulft. All the way down... Oh, you've got to be... It's in the middle of nowhere. Oh, I think we're getting close, actually. I hope everyone welcomes us with cookies and warm milk, and not laser bolts and sharp swords. Oh, the entrance seems to be abandoned, so I think we can just walk straight in. Crystal, God. Oh God, he seems to be in worse for wear. Baratus. In oh, well. Uh, you've certainly seen better days. Attendant Gavros, the council has become aware of the lack of progress. Okay, doesn't seem to be much in here. Just that they were making slow progress. And perhaps they reached too far with their research. So, clearly we need to be going in here with a hot head. And be on the lookout for any danger. Speaking of the devil. Oh, dwarven spiders. I haven't seen these things in a while. Ah. Oops. Sorry, Lydia. I nearly hit Lydia again there. I, I've got to be much more careful about that because she could turn on me and beat the living snot out of me. Sure as Hunter Fledgling. Oh god. Wow, that thing took a beating. So clearly, the research team came into contact with a lot of Charus and, I'm guessing, some Farmer, and they got their ass promptly handed to them. I mean, there's also stuff like that that I imagine probably did them in, so, yeah. 
Idiot. Don't help me then. Just fucking let me die. Idiot! I'm gonna quick save just to be safe, actually, I think. I hate fighting Chorus. They're so overpowered! Oh, yeah, just ignore Lydia and just go for me. Oh, okay, that's it taken care of. A bit more successful this time. So, yeah, I think sticking clear from these Choruses and letting Lydia take all the damage is probably the best option at the moment. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. That was close. Imagine these steam presses would probably activate and push us off. Okay, they didn't. Don't know what happened there. Okay. Gotta step carefully because I don't want to be pushed down there. It won't kill us, but. It's a bit of an annoyance. Oh yeah, I forgot Lydia doesn't actually activate those sort of things. Weird, just like she doesn't weigh anything at all, even though she's encased in heavy armour. <laughs> oh well, so it seems like there's been a bit of a scrap here. There's a dead farmer, a couple of destroyed dwarven spiders. So it's clear someone has already been through here before us. Maybe it's the Thalmor, maybe it's the Sigic Order, maybe it's the other guys, I don't know. Hello, Thalmor friend! Execution kills for the farmer are so unsatisfying, I feel. There's just no visceral nature to it. It's just chop, chop, chop. Nothing artistic, nothing interesting. It's not just not all that striking, to be honest. Okay, there's another one up there. How was I poisoned? He hit my shield. Jackass. Okay, I'm gonna quick save again. Quick save like a million times during this recording session today. That's one down. Come on, Lydia. Let's take this bozo out. Okay, that one was pretty good. That execution kill was pretty sweet. Slash at the legs and then slash at the head. Now, I think we have to go through here. Well, this was the only door that hadn't already been opened. That definitely looks like a Falmer sigil, so best to proceed with caution from this point out. Thing is, the Charos are really tough and hard to kill, and they can deal a lot of lingering damage but at the same time if you keep stunning them or finding a way to stun them they're not too hard to kill uh. idiot help me out fucking christ she's so slow and the annoying thing is as well about fighting charus is like they never have anything useful on them Okay, that's one taken care of. Oh, this is a Skulker. These guys are tough. I say that as she absolutely gets wrecked by me and Lydia, so... Just disproving myself yet again. Okay, there's another Synod researcher, so clearly they, some of them had maybe been dragged in here and been... ...skinned and such by the fucking farmer. So clearly they made a gruesome end at the hands of these beasts. Hello! That was easy. Oh my god, how many Falmer do we have to fight in here? There's a joker behind us. Oh my god, how many of them are there? Um... This is going to be a bit tricky. No help! Lydia is fucking useless! Oh god. Keep 
I'm loading into these dudes. This gloom luck isn't really doing much, to be honest. Wow, that... Yeah, arrows seem to be the order of the day, I think. That door needs a key to unlock it, so we're going to have to search around, I think, for a key to, well, unlock it. Right, well, I think I'm going to leave it there for the time being, because this looks like it's going to be a pretty lengthy process of finding out how to unlock that door, and I don't think that I can make this episode any longer, even if I wanted to, so I'm going to leave it there for the time being. If you guys did like this video, leave a like, share, and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, or you have anything you liked or disliked about this video, leave me your opinions and ideas in the comment section down below. And keep it respectful if you do please. And also if you want to check out anything else I do online, I'll leave the links to my other social medias and YouTube channels in the video description below. But as always, I've been your most gracious host to get back the great. Have fun, stay safe with whatever you're doing, don't do anything I wouldn't do, wash your hands, take a mask with you to the shops. I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield. Bye bye for now.